could go on, but I won't. Hello, folks. That was my Aaron D. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, got a new guitar brand, or a defunct guitar brand to tell you about today. Today I'm looking at a couple of guitars with Pinlin on the headstock. Gosh, there are some awful names on these guitars, aren't there? I mean, who sits around a boardroom going, hmm, what would look good on headstock? Let's try Pinlin. Um, it's no wonder they went out of business with a name like that. Um, you know, I just think sometimes things get lost in translation uh, with some of these brands um, that you see popping up. Anyway, these are the blowout guitars currently on the Guitar Fetish website. Uh, if you go to the blowout guitar tab, you will see uh, a bunch of these Pinlin acoustic guitars. I bought two of them just to check them out. They are all laminate, all plywood. Um, so they're not solid top or anything. So of course there's that uh, waiting period when you're waiting for them to come and then you pull them out of the box um, and then uh, you know you, you strum it and you go, oh crap. Or you say, oh that doesn't sound too bad. Well this in this case, to be honest with you, it was a case of, wow, that doesn't sound too bad. Actually, these sound as good as any solid top um, let's say one to two hundred dollar acoustic that I've had come through uh, over my bench in the last few months to be honest with you um, however I did have to do a lot of fret work on these the fret ends were protruding um, quite a bit they it felt like they'd been sitting around in a factory for a long time um, apparently guitar fetish bought these out bought this company out after it went out of business and they have a stock that they're selling off. So uh, it had all the look of guitars that have been sitting around in warehouses in the field, of course. So the action was really high and the uh, frets needed quite a bit of work. But once I'd done that, the guitars sound um, really quite like solid top guitars. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. So all the usual accoutrements, spruce tops uh, with a dark wood like a walnut or a rosewood inlaid rosette. Sapelle back and sides, full binding, purfled edges, binding all the way up the neck with a rosewood uh, fretboard, mother of pearl inlays, and the usual chrome tuners that you see on most guitars that hold tune very well. This is what they're calling the medium jumbo. It's really a concert or an auditorium, but they're going with medium jumbo, maybe because the bottom bouts uh, are a bit wider considerably wider than the top bouts, which give it that jumbo look, although it's nowhere near the size of a normal jumbo. There is no label in these. There's only the headstock uh, logo. So there's no way to know if there's any model number, if there was any model number on these. So it's just the Pinlin medium jumbo. I also got, just to check it out, uh, their Dreadnought cutaway, which is very similar looking, same specs, just the Dreadnought shape. Kind of a slope shoulder dreadnought, if you want to call it that. Um, just fine on the sound. Actually, a little bit quieter than the medium jumbo, which is surprising. Um, so palais back and sides, all the same accoutrements. And of course, the logo there. Interesting that they've got uh, this piece going on here. Um, so this was a company that crashed and burned. They had stock. Guitar Fetish bought it out and is offering these on their website um, at cheap prices, but I have a caveat to tell you about, and it has to do with a video I did a little while back. Um, these guitars uh, are fairly cheap if, you, if there's an ongoing discount code that you can apply. Guitar, guitar Fetish is like um, Rondo and other sites home and even uh, that's all online and they run specials in other words they have coupons that you can plug in if you can use a coupon if you can wait for a coupon to uh, become available and then buy these guitars with them um, they're worth it without the coupon I'm not so sure the reason being is guitar fetish has a weird shipping policy uh, which kind of kills their deals um, for instance, these guitars, they won't ship them together, they ship them separately, so no matter how many guitars you order, 
they won't do combined shipping. Um, I've complained about it and I've been told by their customer service team that they're looking at their shipping rates and hopefully that they um, uh, will do some adjustments. Um, because you know companies usually encourage multiple purchases and make the shipping better the more they can pack together that standard practice. These guys need to do that um, if they want to compete uh, with some of the other online uh, retailers. Um, for instance, they had a guitar, when I was on their website, I think two days ago, they had a blowout on a Sunburst guitar, it looked like a concert or an auditorium cutaway model, $49 for this guitar, and you're thinking, wow, that's a great deal, I'll grab one or two of those. Uh, then when you go plug the shipping in, uh, and I'm domestic shipping, it's not international or anything, it came out to f almost $60 per guitar. So when you add the $60 to the $49 special, it then becomes a $110 special, which isn't that great. Uh, I can get guitars uh, with brand names uh, in that price. So uh, I told Guitar Fetish, you know, your shipping issues really kill any sort of deals that you're offering. Uh, if you could fix that, um, then I think you would be up there with the rondos and the mono prices uh, of the world. Uh, and perhaps they are already with their uh, Xavier or Javier guitar lines. But on these budget guitars, uh, if, you're, if you're getting a great deal for, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 dollars for one of these types of guitars, uh, and then it's as much again for shipping, uh, it sort of negates that deal. I mean, you consider you can get um, Alvarez, uh, Yamaha, yeah, you can get Yamaha starting at what, what 149 uh, brand new. A solid top Yamaha, so um, or 179, 199. So, you know, when you're doing these kinds of blowouts, you need to be able to stay under those prices, otherwise, people will just go and get a brand name guitar, as we've talked about many times uh, on these videos. But these are actually really decent laminate guitars, uh, need a lot of setup, they've been sitting around, um, they have. Very, a lot of finishes. They had a sunburst, a red one, maybe a blue one, uh, a couple, three different shapes. I just went with two, the two natural ones to look at uh, to see what they're like. I was going to see about getting more of them, but unless they address their shipping issues, I won't be doing that. Uh, but I have to say, um, these are a lot better than just about any other all laminate guitar that I've set up in the last few months. Um, uh, once you do that fret leveling work and set the action, uh, both necks were very straight, just the right amount of relief, no warping issues on these, uh, and they play fine. So uh, that part is pleasing. Uh, now if we can just um, get this company to work on their shipping and customer service issues, uh, then they would be a great resource uh, for this sort of stuff. So anyway, uh, two Pinling guitars. Um, no model numbers on these, no labels. Uh, these are factory blowout. If you're interested in these, um, you can buy them uh, from the Guitar Fetish website. Wait for a coupon to become valid. Apply that. Uh, if you want to buy them set up, I'll be throwing these two on my reverb page if I haven't already. And you're certainly welcome to put in a bid for one of those. All right, folks. See you next time.